Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Food, I see with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today, the season of Legend, well, technically yesterday, but today, the season of Legends has started in Pokemon Go. So it's, it's March. How is it March already? This is concerning. I still haven't dealt with last March mentally yet. But we've got new spawns in the game. We've got new research breakthroughs, which are Gibble. We've got new raids. A whole bunch of things changing. There's, you know, Jellicent on the map on the nearby. So we need to hunt down a pink Jellicent. Uh, I just uh, claimed, or I just did my first Landorus raid since it's been back. I... AR is accidentally on, so I haven't seen if it's shiny yet. So three, two, one. No. Not shiny. Uh, I literally don't know what's good IV for this, so we'll see if... um. If 2050 is any good, who knows? It's sitting really far back. You're just a little bit shy, Lando. What's up? So today we're going to track down the female Jellicent, which has just been released. Um, you know, male Jellicent as well as now in the wild. Previously was only a PvP thing. So we're going to track down some of those. Yeet. Whoa, that... That sucked as a throw. But yeah, that's the mission for today. Just get some stuff done. There's double candy transfer tonight and my storage is basically maxed out at this stage. Uh, so I do need to do a massive storage cleanout. Uh, fun fact, we can now transfer uh, mythicals and legendaries with mass transfer. Caught it. Let's see. Let's see if I was risking it with like a decent IV here. Um, oh, we're almost finished with that Mew quest as well. In, well, part. No! <laughs> what? One and done! Oh my god, I'm glad I didn't Google it. I probably would have... I, dude, I dropped so many balls at the start there that I probably cut out of this video. Dude, what? One of our friends, uh, one of the guys in like the Nui group has got two hundos of these already and it was only dropped yesterday. Um, look, I mean, if it's if it's boosted by accident, exploit that. Let's go. I got a hundo, uh, hundo out of cleaner the other day as well. Ah, Doomstick, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get the XLs in, do a couple of raids, distance trades, all that jazz. Winner, winner. Thanks, Landorus. Appreciate it, buddy. I think this is my last week as well to be walking 25. I mean, I'm gonna keep walking because walking is, you know, healthy, etc. But I think this week is my last week that I need to be walking the 25 kilometers to hit that goal for uh, going up to level 48, I'm pretty sure, I think. Or is it two more? Let's check in a sec. And before we head out as well, just one quick little thing. Uh, PSA to the Sydney squad. I may be playing Fletchling Com Day in Sydney. Uh, tentative might see you there. Um, I don't think it'd be appropriate for me to be like, let's have a meet up just in case, for, you know, health reasons and stuff. But if you see me out and about, come say, hey, do a trade, all that kind of jazz. Uh, at this stage, likely, likely, if everything goes according to plan, likely. Let's get out, let's get exploring, let's find my jellies. Actually, given how lucky that was, let's uh, claim our first gibble of the month. Can be shiny, research breakthrough. Appreciate it, professor. Regular. Give it a berry. I'm going to come back for you later in case you get any throwing quests. Also need to uh, keep pressing forward with the new rocket research. If you guys aren't seeing um, the higher they fly in your special research, likely you haven't finished your previous team rocket research. I've seen a lot of people be like, I can't see the special research. I didn't get it. Where? Um, the, what is it? An, inter an interesting discovery is one of them. Uh, lurking in the shadows is one of them. Uh, looming in the shadows. There's a few like previous rocket researchers. If you haven't done them, you won't have this one yet. So don't be like trainer tips, finish your research. <laughs> oh, don't you? Uh, hello. Get in the ball. I really need to stop quick catching things in here because my Celebi is still in my special things. Okay, now let's go. We have got Cricket and Ow. we've got our Jelly. Sorry, Jelly. Keep saying Jellicent, Frillish, which can evolve into Jellicent. Which like a I don't have enough. Uh, let's not pineapple. Let's not risk that. Let's not risk that. Yeah, look, look, I'm gonna do it. The red ball's pretty. I missed the excellent though. That would have been an easy excellent. You got it. I'm not. Sweet appraisal. Oh, it won't be registered because I've already got the one from PvP. But she pretty. I need to evolve um, these ones at some point, but I still only have one of each because, again, it was only in PvP. And I, I won a whole bunch of sets. I made it to ace rank and I kept getting bloody swin up for the encounter. So hopefully I can actually track down some more of these in the wilderness 
Nah, add him to the add him to the collect. Sean, what do you want to do, Mr. Fighty Grunt? Super bug Pokemon. Look, they're cheap to purify. Okie dokie, it is the following day. I uh, had a really fun stream last night with Cricket for her birthday. So if you guys haven't followed or checked out Cricket 23 yet, please be sure to do so. Go send her a nice little happy birthday for her birthday this week. I like how I just changed my whole party and now it's just taking me back in with a Gyarados that I did not take. That keeps happening. But still no shiny Landorus for me. Uh, definitely since the start of this new season, though, we're seeing a lot of really cool wild spawns, a lot of evolved things. Uh, and yesterday seeing that wild Gabite was pretty just like nuts. Checked the nearby map to grab the female Frillish, but the Gabite was like on the way to it. So we just like went off in that direction to go grab it. But um, I mean, that's obviously very fortunate for the catch the dragon types to keep going towards Mew. I'm gonna check in and like actually go through everything that we need to get done for all of those quests. It's kind of touch base because I feel like there's been a lot going on. Uh, I've been doing like a lot of work behind the scenes on some other things, some new merch designs, a few like um, more business side and admin things, which I do apologize. There's been a few less videos this week and maybe upcoming, but we're working on a lot of fun stuff, like a lot of stuff coming. So I feel like I just need to like check base and see where I'm at <laughs> and check what events are popping up this week as well. If you haven't seen it, I have put up the visual guide for the month on like the community tab here on YouTube. It's also up on Twitter. Uh, you can save that image to your phone if you want to um, and you know, kind of keep track of what's happening for this month so far. Because we do kind of have like the majority of the, of the month's things, you know, planned out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you for the candies. Shiny check in three, two, one. No. I think it only gets like a bit more suntanned, like compared to its regular form. So nothing too stressful there. I might, do I attempt to try and pineapple these things, maybe like alternating pineapps to golden raz just to get extra candy to power up the hundo. Cause I've, dude, still like, can't believe we got the hundo. Also, has anyone else been noticing a lack of silver pineapps? They used to be in quests pretty frequently. Like I would actively do the silver pineapp quests like a lot to try and, you know, stock up on them. Um, I've been really, Oh yes, been really low for two months, I feel like, maybe three months. I feel like I haven't seen them a lot. I know I don't raid like crazy and you do get them from raids, but like, I don't wanna, maybe we'll use one more. I don't know, I just feel like I haven't seen the quests a lot and I used to see them fairly frequently. That was a terrible throw. Wow, wasted. One more, one more, one more. So in terms of events happening this week, we've got, uh, for me today is Wednesday, uh, so raid night tonight, if you guys are doing raid night for your Wednesday nights, uh, Thursday tomorrow, which will be the fourth, is gonna be the first of kind of like the bonus events coming back to Pokemon Go. I remember they trialed this a while ago where it was like, they'd have the bonus hour that had XP and then there was the spotlight hour that had the spawns. Um, it seems like they merged those together. So it was, you know, sp you know what our regular Tuesday bonuses are. Uh, and now we've got tomorrow, being the Thursday is gonna have more rocket balloons popping. So keep an eye out for Thursday night, 6 p.m. More rocket balloons happening. I don't know how frequently, but we'll see. Then of course, this Saturday is going to be Fletchling Community Day. That'll be what, uh, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Nosh, got it. Again, possibly we'll be playing in Sydney. So if I see you there, I see you there. If I don't, I don't. Um, you know, just playing all these things by ear, playing like, you know, the safest that we can. Appraisal, yeah, no. Last night was double transfer candy. So I cleaned out a whole bunch of stuff, uh, transferred a whole bunch of, you know, uh, legendaries, things like that. I think Meltan, I cleaned out a couple hundred Meltans. So we've got a nice stack of XLs towards that. My Lickitung that I've been slowly maxing out with XLs. We're getting closer. It's been a really slow grind to get these. Uh, I don't think, I mean, I haven't picked up anything new shiny since Kanto, except for the Geodude. I just got that randomly on the couch at home after the Kanto event. So no sneaky shinies, ever missed out on anything there. I mean, let's check for, that would be a sneaky shiny, bit of a secret. Wormple would be nice. And then let's check in with, so first things first, uh, some rocket stuff so I can actually purify a few more things because I save up all my Zubat and Weedle and things like that for shadows to purify. I need to wait for a few more grunts to take the fly through or when I go out later today. Earn some candy so I need to get stepping. I'm on 10 out of 30 for catching Pokemon, you know, days in a row. This is for the shiny Mew quest. You know, still only page two or four. In terms of what the species caught, we're tracking pretty nicely. Uh, ice type lagging behind, dragon type well and truly lagging behind. So that's gonna be one to look out for. Dark types as well, not super common, but around evening time, I've seen a couple of um, Puchiana. So that's been pretty decent. Uh, and definitely some of the PVP rewards as well. I think now the season's changed, so I'll have to check what the rewards are. 
do keep that in mind. You don't have to be amazing at PvP to, you know, if you get if you can get those few wins in, especially in like the lower ranks, you can probably get a few encounters that might help towards these goals. Let's see, what is in the PvP reward? I mean, I haven't even... Amolga's in the rewards! Let's go, my baby boy! My little zoomy boy. Um, I'm only, like, what? I've done three battles. Woo. Three wins. Woo. That's awesome that Amolga's in there. Very nice. But definitely, you know, as, you know, you progress, there's gonna be different things to encounter. And then, for leveling up to level 47, uh, I need to get some more souvenirs with the buddies, so I might actually alternate and swap back on some of my best buddies, because sometimes they just swap in and have something for you. I need to walk a lot, which we're going to do this weekend for Com Day, uh, and then this will be the last on Monday we'll tick over, and we'll hit level 48. So that's going to be another new little goal to work towards. So, so, so let's quickly swap back, look at my baby boy, let's really swap, swap back to Sandile and just see if Sandile's got a gift for us, which sometimes happens. So cheeky little interact there, get Sandile fed, let's jump back out. Mm, no, sometimes they'll just like automatically be like a gift pop up. Um, I've noticed that when you swap through buddies that are already like kind of leveled up, you might get a gift straight away or a souvenir straight away. So just keep that in mind if you're like trying to catch up for that quest. In terms of events, next week as well will be the uh, Tuesday, the Searching for Legends kind of like event will start up. That's when Shiny Nose Pass will be released. So that's next week. And let's quickly jump to the Sylph Roads. This is the Sylph Road Research uh, tasks that you can get. So because it's March, every month, you know, the tasks change. So I was doing almost all items for February, except, you know, the event tasks and the mill tank. But this month we have got the catch 10 is the same. It's gonna be Magikarp, Weather Boost ones, same. It's been Poliwag and uh, Vulpix for quite a while. Catch a Dragon type, still Dratini, but you know, you never know if you could stack some of these and actually, uh, actually this would be good potentially. These, these are sometimes hard to find, but if you are able to stack up three catch a dragon type Pokemon quests and then get your Gibble encounter for the seven day research encounter, um, or, you know, have your Gibble stacked there and then through the week find the catch a dragon type Pokemon, then catch your Gibble, you could then unlock the Dratini to catch for another dragon type to go towards your Mew quest, your shiny Mew quest. So looking at these quests and trying to figure out a way to optimize how you can get your tasks done is a really good thing to do. So again, maybe in encounter your Gibble, stack it up, try and get three of these dragon quests or even maybe one or two and then catch your Gibble. And then you're gonna kind of like triple that one catch into the you know encounters from the research. Five berries to help catch a Pokemon is Skiploom. Uh, not a shiny yet. I love, love, love for when Hopip gets released. Again, Jumpluff, shiny is immaculate, please let it happen. Also, this is a great one because it is an evolved form um, to stack up for a, uh, a comm day that has double Stardust, an event that has triple Stardust, whatever it might be. Um, I'll probably fill up my research stack with these because it's an evolved form, you get more Stardust. Catch 10 bug types, which is a new one, will be Yanma. Catch five Pokemon for Ladybug, which can be shiny, which I don't know why its icon isn't on here, uh, but Ladybug can be shiny in Pokemon Go. Three great throws the same, five nice throws the same. We've got Onyx, we've got Spinder, we got uh, three excellent throws in a row for Gibble. Again, another one for your Dragon Quest. A couple of same ones here, win a raid for Larvitar. Got Ducklet in there with the, like, earn hearts with your buddy. Evolve, ooh, evolve Pokemon's Wurmple. Might be doing some of those as well to try and get the shiny. Uh, and then the AR mapping tasks with Dratini there as well. I still, again, haven't never done an AR mapping task because at this stage, Niantic still hasn't told us what the point of AR mapping is. They haven't been transparent about what the data is used for. And once they do, and if it's, you know, all ethical and thumbs up, sure, I'll do them. Uh, but until then, I still have not done a single mapping task. So that's that. I did get really lucky this morning with a Noibat spawn, uh, not in my house. <laughs> I did have to go and track it down, but that's also a dragon type if you get so lucky as to see one. I feel like in Newcastle, they've been spawning at like ridiculous hours of the morning. So I was just lucky that I was not awake that early, but I was awake and happened to see this one. In terms of raids, I mean, Latios and Latios are gone. Gibble's gonna be our research encounter. Just having a scroll through for dragon types, trying to figure out a plan for that. Um, God, yeah, if you, can, if you can find an Axie as a shadow on the nearby, good luck, because hatching won't count either. That's rough. And Dratini. Again, depending when and if they do whatever the makeup or bonus event is going to be for the Kanto day. I just stopped my screen recording and I started back up because Sandile just found a gift. What did I say? Um, there you go, if we needed the souvenirs. Please be a souvenir, not items. Boom, easy. Yeah, depending on what and if, like whatever the Kanto makeup day bonus event happens to be, if that happens within, you know, this quest period, that might help if there's Dratini spawning again to try and finish off that dragon type quest. But otherwise, that's the thing. If you see a dragon type, go for it, go get it. If you get that quest, hang on to it. Um, try your best, I guess, because it's going to be 
that's gonna be the tricky one to get done. Let me know in the comments down below, how has your month started for the season of Legends? Have you seen any crazy spawn? I've seen a lot of people like with screenshots of like awesome evolved Pokemon. I think that's just, for me, that's just fun. The Gabite is crazy to see in the wild. Even just seeing things like Sceptile or like Camerupt or whatever it is, just the fact that it's evolved it doesn't have to be something exciting. It could be like Slugma, but Evolve. It makes it a little bit more like, oh, that's nice. Have you seen anything cool like that? Let me know in the comments what cool spawns have you seen out and about in the wilderness. Have you just grabbed any new shinies? Have you been on an absolute shiny grind since Kanto? I certainly have not, but you know, maybe this weekend's gonna be my week. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce back. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, lovelies, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch are in the description down below. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night, whatever time it is for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.